Hey there, this is a 10 minute overview of Google Notebook LLM. Okay, so you're in the military and you don't have a lot of time. Isn't that the case for everyone? And we always hear people that say your readers are leaders. But in the age of artificial intelligence, I wanna give you a couple of tips and tricks that can help you. Now, this does not replace your reading, to be fair, but Google Notebook LLM can really help you when you are short on time and you wanna get a basic understanding of something. So let's jump in. I'm gonna share for you uh, just exactly what you would do, right? You would uh, go to Google and you'd say, okay, what is Google Notebook LLM? You type it in the chat, here you go. I'm gonna press enter. And I'm gonna click on Google Notebook LLM. This is gonna get me to this homepage. When I click on the homepage, I press I Google Notebook LLM and then it's gonna show right here. You can see I have several notebooks open and I'm just, Think about a notebook as just a different topic that you're learning, right? So I'll press create new. And now what you can see is the ability for me to upload resources. I can upload a lot of different resources. I can go into my Google Drive. I can do an actual link, a website, a YouTube video. So, I mean, really, even if you don't want to listen, you, you have a three hour long YouTube video and you go, oh, I really just want to know the, the main points. You can put this in Notebook LLM. It's, it's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to take a Air Force regulation and it's going to upload and it's going to take a minute to upload. You know, you have to remember that it's going to go through the larger the document, the, the longer it's going to take. Um, but I want you to think about this. Uh, there's three instances that I think this is perfect for. Instance number one is when you are short on time and you want to get a basic overview. So maybe you've got a meeting tomorrow and you go, man, I can't remember the last time I went over this regulation. Let's go in here. So this is a perfect example because very quickly you can see I've got the resource on the left hand side that's been uploaded. And it's shown me this is the Air Force Mortuary Affairs Program and it's given me a basic overview. And maybe I have read this regulation before. I'm short on time and I just can't remember like something specific that is in this regulation. Well, I can go in and ask a question. So it's that next level of control F because I can do control F and I can look at certain things, but I can't ask it questions. And so I can say, well, who is eligible for mortuary services? And now it's going to give me an answer. It's going to look through it and it's going to quickly say, okay, this is what, this is what it sees. And it's going to give you that response. Something that when we talk about generative AI is we sometimes worry that it's going to make up information because it does. In this case, when it's pulling information, what you're going to see is it will show you where it pulled it from. It will show you exactly where it pulled it from. So I like that. It's a second level of granularity versus just it says, hey, you know, Bugs Bunny gets this mortuary entitlement and then you sound silly when you told that to someone. So that is a fantastic tool to go through. I can have this interaction and I can ask follow up questions. I can say, well, you know, what are those expenses? And it will respond and it'll go from there. So not only is it when you're short on time, but you can start to ask those quick questions and get a basic overview. And maybe if the mortuary officer that you're trying to get a hold of is not available, right? They'll be available soon, but you just, it's 10 o'clock at night and you're worried about something. You can put this information in here. The second thing that I find this resource to be really, really helpful for is kind of creating um, documents for or let's say professional development, right? You can create a study guide. Um, you, you can create frequently asked questions. You can go in and really start to think through, if I had to teach this, and I had to teach this to a group of individuals that have never been exposed to this information before, how could I simply break it down? And maybe... If I don't know what level they're at, I can look at this study guide. I can give them a quiz, right? And I can say, well, who's responsible for this? Or what's the primary role? And if they know the answers to this question, well, great. Now I can start at a higher level, right? But if they don't, then I recognize, well, 
I need to start with the basics. I need to go from there. Another thing uh, that's really great with this, and this is all part of if you're doing professional development, whether you're the one that's receiving it or whether you're going to be the person that is in charge of it, is you can generate a podcast uh, and think about how often we will listen to something, but we won't maybe read it. Um, so I can go customize it and I can say, um, you know, I am working with new military members and I want them to understand the basics of this regulation, keep it simple, engaging, and um, give some examples. So I'm going to ask it to generate that, and it will take a minute to actually generate. So while I'm going through that, I'll show you a couple of elements, but uh, you can kind of see just how long it takes. So often generative AI is fast, right? But in this case, it's looking at a lot of information. It's trying to generate voice and it's making those customizations. So it's not going to be as quick as maybe you would think from there. But moving back over to the right hand side, right, I can create what's called a briefing doc. And this is a new notification. So the first one that I asked to do was create a study guide. Once again, that can be a pretest. But I can then also create this briefing doc. And the briefing doc, what it's doing is it's giving you, you know, you have a executive summary. I'll show you back to the executive summary. But I want a little bit more in depth summary. Perfect. Go here you core themes. It's going to give you key ideas and facts and really just break it down um, so that you can think through, all right, this is the core. This is the essence of this. One of my favorite things is it comes up with some important quotes. And I thought, wow, that's actually really helpful. Now, maybe they're not the most important quotes to you, but it is really pretty neat to see. And then along with coming up with a conclusion. So I really, really like these resources. Once again, play around with this because you can look at frequently asked questions. You can sit there and you can go, well, we're talking about mortuary, but in the Air Force, we also have casualty. And I'm kind of confused. I, I don't necessarily know the difference between that. Well, go in and add a source and then add casualty and then start to interact with the document and say, you know, what is the difference between mortuary and casualty? And then you're going to give it those resources. And what you'll find, of course, is that if you're working in an environment like the Air Force, our mortuary and our casualty, they both live in the one. But for other services, some of the mortuary actually ends up being in the four. So those are things that you will kind of pick up and you will learn, but um, it'll, it'll help you. Um, and here you go. I've asked it the question and it's gone through and it's pulled the information from just the one source. But of course, if I add more resources, it's going to gonna go through and then continue to go from there. So really, really great resource and something that when you are short on time is, is fantastic. So recap, right? We talked about you can use this when you literally are short on time and you just want a basic overview. You can use this also when you are going to teach, whether you're going to be the recipient of it or, and you can suggest, hey, this would be a really cool format or you're in charge of professional development. And then the third way that you can use this is just, hey, so you, you've got a long like road trip and I know like cringe, right? Like who wants to listen to doctrine, but maybe you are trying to grow. Maybe you're in a professional military education, right? We're all going to be at some type of school and it's going to have you do a ton of readings or a ton of information. And that's going to take a while for you to get through it. And you're trying to pick up different themes. Or you're trying to pick up different information, throw that information in here and see what it generates. And it's a starting point. It's definitely not the ending point, but I, I'm kind of ADHD, I'm a little bit of a procrastinator and everything, and I can look at this stack of paper and go, I'm really not sure if I want to read that all right now. And then, okay, I don't read it. And now I'm not, I haven't learned, I ha I'm not growing, I'm not developing, I'm not getting these concepts. And so if you have to choose between 
totally ignoring the reading uh, or putting this into something like Google Notebook LLM, I would really recommend it. Um, you'll see, hopefully you retain a little bit better information. It's pretty funny. Like my friend and I will mess around with this and we'll say, hey, we want you to do it in a Southern accent or we want you to generate some type of joke or, you know, uh, just put a reference in there that kind of keeps it engaging for us, which is really awesome. So what you can see, this amount of time I was talking, it took a minute for it to develop this Air Force Mortuary Affairs Program podcast. But you, if you press play, right? Now, okay, so Guardians, right? Getting them. You're going to get to hear a little bit about it. It's back and forth. Sometimes a little glitchy, right? I mean, we still are working in the AI world but I would really, really recommend it. And what I want you to do is just, if you take anything away from this conversation, is just don't be afraid to explore. I mean, go ahead and just put even in the comment, like what's one way you think you can use this? Like what's the, just one area, whether it's in your life professionally or personally, that you believe that you could download or upload an, a document into Google Notebook LLM it would help you personally and professionally. And that's really how we get better. That's how we get better with partnering machines with humans and it's how we can learn because we're really living in an age of so much information. And my recommendation overall is you just got to start small and just don't be afraid. Try something, try Google Notebook LLM. Let me know how it's working and let me know how I can help you continue on your AI journey.